Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all well. This is Lifestyle Critic where we break down movies and TV shows into their core elements and in this video we are going to be reviewing Atlantis The Lost City which is an action adventure movie from Walt Disney Animation Studios that has a bit more of a serious vibe to it and is a bit of a sci-fi movie as well. It is also Disney's attempt to tell the story about the long lost fable city of Atlantis told through the lens of a bit of a fast paced comic book which is really, really cool. I mean, there were really big plans for this franchise as it was supposed to get a proper sequel, a TV series, and a theme park ride as well. But after the film wasn't that successful in the box office, all of those plans got scrapped. Now, I know there is a little bit of a pseudo sequel in Milo's Return in terms of this movie, but that's more of a botched together TV show episode being threaded into a bit of a sequel movie as opposed to a big cinematic sequel. But either way, The Lost City of Atlantis is a really cool movie and I cannot wait to break it down for you in this movie review. So from a storyline point of view, Atlantis The Lost City is a little bit dark at certain points and it got a lot of criticism back in the day as there were no musical numbers in a Disney animated movie. I mean, Raya the Last Dragon also did that recently and it got a lot of praise, which is just a shame for Atlantis The Lost City. But anyway, the movie starts off by looking at the past where we see an explosion happening in Atlantis which leads the city to sink. And we also see the queen of Atlantis merging with a crystal. We then jump to present day where we're introduced to the character of Milo, who's a bit of an endearing linguist that longs to find the fabled city of Atlantis as he is convinced that it is in existence somewhere in the world. As luck would have it, he gets the opportunity to join an expedition and a crew who are going to make their way to try and find the lost city of Atlantis. The film then explores Milo and the crew's journey to Atlantis. It explores what they're going to find over there and it questions which characters they can and they cannot trust. I mean, it does have a bit of a predictable twist that takes place in this movie, but nonetheless, it is really fun and is really awesome from a storyline point of view. So from a cast and characters point of view, Atlantis The Lost City was going to be the big thing that was going to come from Disney, so they have a really great cast associated with this film, so let's break them down one by one. So first up, we have Michael J. Fox from the Back to the Future franchise, brilliantly voicing the character of Milo, who really does bring him to life as a really fun, bashful, and intelligent lead character, and you're really with this character throughout the entire journey, all of the brilliant scenes that happen when they reach Atlantis, all of the big questions that he has to answer, all the tough decisions that he has to make. It's just so, so good from a Milo character point of view, and Michael J. Fox, who does a really good job in bringing him to life. Next up, we have James Garner, who plays the Captain Roulet slash Captain Rule character, and he is the commander and leader of this expedition, he is always ready for a fight and he goes on a really interesting arc throughout this movie. Next up we have Helga who is Commander Roulet's second in command. She's a bit of a no-nonsense character and she really does remind me of the Amelia Von Butch character from Scooby-Doo Where's My Mummy? I feel like these two characters are very, very similar. We then have the other crew members who do round off the crew really, really interestingly. And they are really individual in their own right. But in this movie, you don't find out that much about all of these different characters. If the TV show and the sequel would have taken place, I feel like the rest of the crew members would have definitely come into their own. But either way, they do round off the cast really, really well. Next up, we have Kidda, who is the princess of Atlantis. And it's really interesting how the Kidda character and the Milo character when they partner up and they investigate Atlantis a little bit more, they discover even more secrets about Atlantis. So these two characters make a really good team and double act. And we then have the other Atlanteans. And I really like all of the philosophical questions that the Atlanteans represent, such as should the Atlanteans stay safe and on their own in isolation, away from everybody in Earth, should they give their resources to everybody on Earth? I feel like the Atlanteans are used really, really well from a social commentary point of view, but as far as the cast and characters in this movie go, they are absolutely awesome in Atlantis, The Lost City. So from a visuals point of view, Atlantis, The Lost City does feel like a little bit of an action adventure comic book movie. It does have the Disney necessities in there, but you can also tell that they're trying to definitely do something different in this movie. It's got some absolutely epic fight sequences that are very grandiose in terms of what is at stake 
in this film, all of the scenes in Atlantis look really, really cool. Even the journey to Atlantis is really, really cool. But when you get to Atlantis, it looks absolutely amazing. You're definitely immersed into this brand new world. Speaking of which, they've even got their own language in this film as well. So you could really tell that Disney were trying to build up a big franchise. It's just a real shame that it didn't work or take off in the way that they were hoping for. So in terms of comparisons, I really did actually really enjoy Atlantis The Lost City. I got totally immersed and thrown into this world. I thought all of the characters were really, really great. And I just thought it was a really, really cool film. I do think it's so much stronger than the sequel movie. I think it's unfair comparison to make with the sequel. As like I said, the sequel is a little bit of a botched job in terms of three episodes from the TV show being botched together in terms of making a sequel. But either way, I think it's a lot stronger than that film is. And I also think it's on the same level as Treasure Island and Road to El Dorado. But like I keep saying, it really could have been such a strong franchise and it's just such a shame that they weren't able to realize all of that potential. So overall, I'm sure you can tell, I really enjoyed Atlantis, The Lost City. I thought it was a really epic movie. I really liked the fact that it took loads of risks and it actually had really interesting social commentary in there as well in terms of looking at anti-capitalism and really looking at how people treat other people and take advantage of other people and advantage of certain communities as well. I mean, it did have a tie-in video game, which is at least something, but it's just such a shame that all the big grandiose plans weren't realized as it really could have been an absolutely mega franchise. But either way, as far as Atlantis The Lost City is concerned, I have to give it a solid 6.5 out of 10. I'd love to hear what you think, so please let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in my next video.